today's video i'm going to show you something simple trust me i'm going to show you something right now let's see this before and after so i'm going to show you how to cover it and make it look so nice like this i'm going to show you the best retouch you need to learn today okay i'm awake get to my page and like and comment and subscribe okay so let's dive in so this is the image and I'm going to do something about it. So first, let's just duplicate it. Okay, right click here and move to duplicate layer and click OK. And make it another one again. It's OK. So we're going to use this. So I'm going to do something to make it so fast. But the only thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to change the, the color. Um, so something different to dark color somehow like chocolate and I'm going to I'm sorry that I didn't show you I'm too fast so I'll move to image adjustments hue and saturation and make sure you push this to the side okay and take this one down and let this be down like this so when I get to this let's see before and after Okay, so when you get to this, okay, try to just choose the face color and make sure you duplicate it again. This, okay, so this one, the color is different and this one, the color is different. So I'm going to use this. So I'm going to choose the face color, use the eyedropper to, to just choose the face color. Then I'll move to um, brush tool, but not this. I'm going to use the mixer brush tool. Okay, so when I get to this, just click here. Let's make it empty. Okay, like this. So when I get to the, try to make the point that just pop out like this. So click, cast lock. Okay, it's gonna come out like this. Then you, um, just increase the pointer. Then you click on it, and it starts just working on the face. You can make the width to be around like five to take your time to work on it. But I prefer to use the 82 to just make it so fast. Okay. Try to take your time to just cover everything. Try to smell the face before. Okay, so sorry that I'm just, I just want to take my time. So follow the process, make it the same thing. Don't speed much. Okay, make sure you do exactly the same thing. Try to smooth away. So let's see before and after. Okay. So let's just cover the no the nose.
So get to this side. Make sure you will take your time around there. Because the they, they are wrong, they said can do this damage and as well, so don't make it too quick and fast. Okay, so I'm done with it. Just check it with before and after. Before, after. Okay, so this is cool. So all of them I'm gonna do right now is that I'm going to duplicate that down here again. I just want to save. I just want to save this last one. So I just duplicate this one. So I just want to bring it to the top like this. Then turn it to black and white here in saturation and move the saturation to zero and click on it. When you click on it, make sure you move to um, filter, um, other and high pass. So when you get to the high pass, you can just make it cool like this. So, okay, let's try to maintain the 5.2. Okay. And let's see how it's going to work. Then we'll move to no brush. So I think there's a problem right now. This one is not good. So we're going to do it again. Okay. Let's try to make it, um, two point something. Okay. Try to make it, um, let's say, um, 2.5. Then we'll move to 2.5. Okay. So I think 2.5 is okay. So when you're done with it, you see, it's too rigid. So we're going to clean some places like around the edges. Okay around the edges here here is very bad so we need to take it out okay and here try to make the eraser the opacity 100 percent so that you can just work on it so fast okay you see so this one's cool and you're going to take this opacity down okay let's say 80 is cool so that we can get the face clear okay so when you're done with this part just try to um, click ctrl plus e to add this them together so they're going to get this together okay okay you can see so okay so only thing we're going to do is that we're going to make sure here is going to be straight okay so let's try let's just duplicate this one again to save this the last the, the first one and let's work on the second one so that any mistake we can just go back back to it okay so um here is the thing make sure you just push it like this okay this one is no plugin. I'm just showing you how to just fix it and get it good. Okay. And then we turn this one down. So make sure you make it straight. Make sure you will just correct it. So use the clarify to um liquify to just sorry. Liquify to just um work on it well. Okay. Try to fill this side. So that's how I used to work with my stuff like that. Okay. Mm, let's try it. I'm just trying my best to show you what you can just get. So 
just do something so when you're done with this just click okay so let's see before and after so um the thing there's a mistake around here so we're going to um use this tool okay so just crop here and hit and click ctrl j and let's just push it okay some cool like this and let's try to use the eraser tool to just make it good and around here okay let's see before and after before and after then you add them together okay that's it so I'm going to use the same clarifier again. So that's why sometimes I used to just duplicate it because I just want to save it. Like I said, liquefy. And let's try something a little bit over here. Let's see. Very good. Or you can just increase it a little. Okay, so when done with this part, just click OK. Okay, so um, I think this is good. And let's just duplicate it again. And the other thing we're going to do that we're going to trade to this side. We're going to make here a little light. Okay, this pressure, you can make it 100 or 50. Okay, so just um, make the dodge and bend so that's okay okay have you seen it just dope try to bright this side Sign on this side. So and then try to bring this side out. Use the no to always. So pop this out. So when you get to this side. Just take it down and lower it and try to bring this side out. Okay, so let's see before and after. Okay. Try here too. So when it's done with this, try to use this tool okay the pen to to crop here and click on it and make it like this and control j to cut it okay so you can when you cut it you get something like this and let's move to um image adjustment here and saturation and send this one to um um 79 and use the eraser to to just clean this side 
So when you could, when you get to this side, just try to take this one down like this. See before and then after, and control you to add them together. Okay. When you add them together, it's going to the this one's going to add to the image. Okay. So this one's going to add to the image. So it's going to be it's going to be one. So I'm trying to make it natural. Okay. And this side. Try to cut it here and control J to cut it out and heal in situation and increase this one. And you can turn this to anyone, this one. So I prefer to just get this color. Okay, when I get to it, choose the um the eraser tool and make sure the hardness is going to be zero and the opacity is going to be handwritten then you increase it and clean it like this and make this sure this one's come down like this okay then you add them together and it creates new layer when you get to this layer make sure you choose any color you just want so i just want to do something to show you something a little bit then you can start it from here okay when you get to this side make sure you move to filter and the blur as a blur to make it like this then you change it um to color and you clean it okay so let's say before and after okay so you can make exactly the same thing here but here make sure the hardness is going to be zero so that it will help you to just make it make it cool like this then you use the eraser tool anytime you want to use the eraser tool start from here so just one to clean it make sure you're going to start from the top here let's go okay so it's going to be natural okay so this is how i used to just do my things all the time because i don't speed to just confuse myself then I use the um, adjustment and level to make sure I'll just make the color just come out and make it natural. Okay. Because I don't stress myself too much about this. Make it so little. Much, so before and after. Before and after. So let's go to, uh, let me just take this. Let me just make all this. And let's see let's see the first image and here so as you can see this is what i just got for you and when it feels to just do a lot of things you can just move to the camera the camera roll so that one i'm going to show you later i just want you to just complete this and learn from it and see how it's going to be okay so guys See you for the next video. Bye.